constituent is made up of the four different people who make up the world of business. So my rich dad said, in the world of business, there's E's. And E's stand for employees. An employee, he says, you can always tell who they are by their core values. And what the employee, whether the president or the janitor of the company, will always say the same words. The words are, I'm looking for a safe, secure job with benefits. That's what makes them an employee, because their core values are security. The other, other one of the four is the S, or the small business owner, or the self-employed. And again, their core values will cause them to use the same words, which are, if you want it done right, do it by yourself. S means they're also solo. They're generally one person act, or they operate by themselves. On the right side of the quadrant are the Bs. And what Rich Dad said the B stood for was big business, or like Bill Gates. Forbes defines big business as 500 employees or more. And their words are different. They say, I'm looking for a good system, a good network, and the smartest people I know to help run my business. So they're unlike the S, they don't want to run the company by themselves. They want smart people to run their companies for them. And then the fourth of the quadrant is the I, and I stands for investor. These are people who have money work hard for them. These people are people who have people work hard for them. And these are the people that work hard for the rich here. So early on in my life, it was my, my poor dad who always said to me, you know, Robert, go to school and say get a high-paying job. And so my poor dad's core value was to be an employee. He wanted job security, promotions, a steady paycheck, and all this. And so it was my rich dad who said to me, he says, you know, Robert, if you really want to be rich, learn to build businesses. It made more sense to him to work hard to build a business, something you owned and something you could pass on for generation to generation to your kids. Whereas my poor dad said work hard, but my rich dad said, why would you work hard for something you'll never own and you can get fired from right away? Again, that was the difference in values. So my rich dad suggested I learn how to be a business owner and learn how to be an investor. And that's one of the big differences. On this side of the quadrant, these people here work for security. They work for money also. On this side over here, their key value that they want is they want freedom. Hi there. My name is Jeff Lerner, and for the last several weeks, I've been earning well over $10,000 a week with my online business. Now stay with me. I'm going to show you everything you need to see to see this is a real story, I'm a real person, and this is a real business. About two years ago, I got involved in a franchise opportunity. I had always wanted to own my own business, and I was very attracted to the idea of franchising uh, and taking on a business that was a proven, successful model and uh, investing my own money and becoming a business owner and receiving all the perks of business ownership while still getting to work in a proven concept. Um, so I, I worked for several years, I, I raised the money, I saved up the money for myself to invest and become a franchisee. I put up $50,000, borrowed $250,000 from the bank and invested in a franchise concept. Um, having been through that, I can now tell you from the inside that franchising is a phenomenal business model for the franchiser. They transfer all the risk to the franchisees to me, you know, I'm the one that got a $250,000 bank loan, and they take 8% off the top. So they make money even if you don't make money. Um, now I'm not going to sit here and boohoo about my horrible franchising experience, but suffice to say my store closed in less than nine months and I was left holding the bag on a $250,000 bank loan. So that's the sad part of my story. But the happy part of my story is when I found my online business shortly thereafter. My online business has 80% profit margins, it has no employees, it has no insurance, it has no rent, it has no utilities, and I can run it from anywhere in the world. And as I said, I've been making over $10,000 a week for almost the last two months consistently. Uh, this online business is almost pure profit. So if you're considering getting involved in a franchise, I want you to think long and hard about the, the risks that you're taking on and who's really going to get the rewards from that risk and, and those 80, 90 hour work weeks that you're going to be asked to put in. Uh, if you'd like to get a little more information about my online business and how it works for me and many, many others here in this community of entrepreneurs, please enter your email address and your name in the form on this page and we'll send you a little bit more information.
Thanks so much for your time and make it a great day. I think if people could really grasp the power of the internet, they would drop everything they're doing right now today and learn as much about it as they could. There's 1.5 billion users on the internet right now. Hi, my name is Michael Forrest. Thanks for visiting my website. And as you can see, I'm in Paris, France right now, overlooking the Eiffel Tower. My wife and I are taking the next few months off and we're gonna travel all through Europe. We're hitting Spain next. Then we're gonna go down to Morocco and we're gonna see all of Northern Africa. That's what I love about this business, that it runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week for you. I don't have to trade time for money or work my way up the corporate ladder like the average person is doing every single day. This business runs for me 24 hours a day, taps the largest market on the planet, 1.5 billion people in 100 different English-speaking countries. I've got a powerful product line. I don't have to put out a million dollars and invest in a brick-and-mortar business or a franchise and have to worry about headaches like employees and space, rent, inventory, insurance, liabilities, or any of those headaches. This business is automated, and that's what I love about this business. I average $80,000 a month with this very system that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you how you can do exactly the same. But first, I'm going to log into my business bank account, my Bank of America bank account, and prove to you that this is a very real business with very real numbers, and we're very real people. So hold on one second, and I'll log into our Bank of America account for you. Hi, Michael Force here again. Wanted to take just a minute and log into our Bank of America account to show you. This is our business checking to show you this is a very real business with very real numbers. Hold on one second. I'll log in here for you. We'll use our company name, Webvertising Inc. This is a registered LLC in California. And we'll log right in here. We do carry a balance in our business checking. I believe it's about uh, seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars right now. Money's coming in and out of that account into our personal checking as we pay ourselves through this business here. But more importantly, I want to show you the bank statements for the last six or seven months. I'll show you just the last since I think probably we'll go back just six months just to give you a, a time so we don't have to spend <laughs> hours on the uh, on the video here. But uh, I want to log in just the last seven months and show you. We'll do. Uh, May 1st, I'll show you May 22nd, 2009, the statement for May, and I'll bring that statement up for you so you can take a closer look here. Move that over there so you can see it. We'll scroll down here, and I'll zoom in for you. $147,099.50 in May. May was a very, very good month. Let's move on to April statement here for you. And April, we'll open up that statement there. Bank of America. Scroll down a little bit and zoom in for you. April was a good month as well. $124,251.72 in April. Let's move on to March. March's statement here for you. Bring that statement up. And we'll scroll down here. $101,799.57 in in April. Let's move on to February. One of the things I love about this business is it runs eight, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for you while you're doing other things. And it's over 80% profit. I have no employees, no space, no rent, no inventory, no insurance, and no liabilities with this new business model. 10 to 20 years ahead of the average person who's still trading time for money. $84,803.64 in February. Good month in February as well. Let's move back to January here. Let's see January statements. Zoom in, scroll down and zoom in there for you. $76,068.65 in January. I'll jump back to uh, 08 for you as well. These were all 09. We'll jump back to 08 here and uh, we'll jump back to December. Take a look at December statement. And you can see our company name, Webvertising Inc. There, we'll scroll down here on the statement. December was a good month. $105,207.21 in December of 08. Let's take a quick look back to November here. Just be mindful of the uh, clock so you don't have to watch this video for, for 10 or 15 minutes. I'll just make a quick video here. And uh, I'll take a look at this statement. This is November of 08. $71,592.11 in November. 
As you can see, very real business, very real numbers here. And I want you to take a closer look. So read our story below. Once you read our story, you'll see a box where you can put in your name and email address. Go put in your name and email address in there. You'll go to the next page. You'll get an email from us. We'll take you to the next page. And once you do that, you'll meet a CEO of our company, Jay Kubisek, and he'll walk you through your next steps. Fill out an application. Uh, it, pay the $49 and see if you can be able to join our elite marketing group. I'm going to take you under the wing, show you where to go, what to do, and how to do it step by step. You're going to learn from a seven-figure earner in this industry that's going to teach you how to make a million dollars within the next six months to a year. So I want you to take a closer look and I will... When asked what was the most important invention of the 20th century, 7% said television, 11% said the telephone, and 80% said the computer. Pick up any magazine, watch any television show, read any newspaper. Dot com is the buzzword of the millennium. In 1998, there were 95.4 million people online. By 2005, estimates predict over 700 million. In 1998, e-commerce generated 39 billion in revenue. In 1999, 114 billion. By 2004, estimates predict 1.5 trillion. E-commerce has arrived. And guess who's shopping? Teenagers, Generation Xers, Baby Boomers, and even Seniors, the fastest growing segment online. Ask yourself three questions. One, is the Internet the future? Two, are there fortunes being made on the Internet? Three, are you making a fortune on the Internet? Why not? Because fortunes are being made now, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. The 40 richest people under the age of 40? Guess what? Over half of them made their fortunes on the Internet. And believe it or not, you could too. All you need is access to a computer. The Internet will do two things. Create new opportunities and destroy old ways and methods of doing business. Welcome to the Internet Gold Rush. You can stake your claim or sit back and watch it all. every day, the rat race is a reality. Recessions, bailouts, Ponzi schemes, job loss. When times are tough, when times are most dire like they are right now, it's actually the time where the most opportunities are available too for entrepreneurs who want to act upon it. I was working a dead-end job that I hated. I was working 50, 60 hours a week. I was working like 10 hours a day, go straight to my second job. I'd work till like 3 o'clock in the morning. I never got any sleep. I wasn't making any money. You know, it was, it was just, it was a grind. You know, if there's anything good that's come out of this, you know, global downturn in the last two years, it forces people to go inside. It forces them to go inside and start to rely on themselves. And I believe that everyone's got a little entrepreneurial spark. Carbon Copy Pro teaches you how to sell anything to anyone, anywhere in the world. We want to teach you how to leverage things like the internet, things like Twitter, MySpace, Facebook. I think if people could really grasp the power of the internet, they would drop everything they're doing right now today and learn as much about it as they could. There's 1.5 billion users on the internet right now. This is a wallet that is bought. You could buy an entire line of luggage for what you spent on that <laughs> little wallet. But you know what? That's the power of a brand. We want to teach you how to build your brand, you Inc. Carbon Copy Pro is an incubator for entrepreneurs because it provides entrepreneurs with everything they require for success. Systems, training, resources, tools, and community. To be part of other people's success and empower other people to have success is why I do what I do. I really believe that Carbon Copy Pro is the razor's edge that separates the good from the great.